Hi everyone, it's Anthony from Gaming Cards and More, and I'm with you today to do a top 25 cards in my collection uh, for 2019. Now, even though I didn't start collecting till really late 2019, it's been about four months, I figured I would do this video so that way when the end of 2020 comes, I can see how much difference there is in my top 25 cards so this is this list is going to be based on my opinion and not values or anything like that so these are just my top 25 favorite cards that i own so they may not have been pulls they could have been trades could be a little bit anything the values could be a more expensive card at number 25 and a less expensive at number one it's just like i said my opinion um if you would change anything let me know in the comments that'd be awesome and before I start, I also wanted to mention that, yes, I've been doing some gaming videos. I have split those into playlists so that if you do not want to watch the gaming videos, you certainly do not have to. And I will be continuing to do breaks every three to five days. So that's about where I was at before. So nothing's going to change. There's just going to be added content um, in the downtime between break videos. So without further ado... Let's get to number 25. Number 25 is this Nikita Gusev Young Guns canvas that I pulled. So number 25, Young Gun canvas, Nikita Gusev. So like I said, still new, haven't been collecting very long. So some of these aren't going to be amazing cards, but we'll see how it changes going into uh, the, the next year. Number 24. Uh, Kale Flurry Young Guns Canvas, also another pull. So that's Kale Flurry Young Gun Canvas. Number 23, this one I got from a trade. Um, number 23 is this Andre Koss, Koss A, Puck Autograph, hand numbered 17 out of 19. Got this in a trade with the Card Collector 255. Or, sorry, a purchase. No, this one was a trade, not a purchase. Apologize, it was a trade. Number 22. This was a pull right when I started collecting, before I was making videos. So this Andre Svechnikov Lustrous Rookies jersey. Andre Svechnikov Lustrous Rookie jersey. So that's number 22. Number 21 is an eBay purchase. My Marc Messier jersey card for the Cup Heroes, number 18 of 20, 2014-15 in the game, Ultimate Memorabilia. And next up, number 20. I pulled in a blaster box from Walmart that gives you a graded card. So that's this graded 10, Wayne Gretzky. It is score, but it's a 10. It's the only 10 graded card I have. So this comes in at number 20. Number 19 was from a purchase, again, from the Card Collector 255. Uh, Black Diamond Rookie Team Logo Jumbos Sam Bennett. It's a very nice manufactured patch. I liked that one. So Sam Bennett manufactured. Next up, also a purchase from the card collector 255 is this Sven Berchi draft day uh, marks number 14 of 35. So that one's next. Number 17, also a purchase from the Card Collector 255, is this Letter Marks Michael Backlund, 21 out of 50. Number 17. Number 16 was an eBay purchase. I just purchased it because it is a one of one. From the cup, Johan Sundstrom, printing plate, one of one, magenta. So the Johan Sundstrom. Number 
Number 15 is this here, Joe Valeno. 2015-2016 Leaf Metal Hockey, The Naturals. Pre-production proof. So... Next up on the list, hold on, I just want to double check something here. Number 15 was from a local trade. It is this Matthew Kachuk, uh, Marquee OPG Platinum Rookie from the Rainbow Color Wheel. Number 14 is Mitch Marner, OPG, Marquee Rookie. I just like Mitch Marner a lot. Number 13 is actually two cards, but they're the same card. So it is these 75th Anniversary Pro Set Proof Cards. So when Pro Set made the 75th Anniversary Hockey Card, they made this hologram and it was a sticker that they stuck on the base card and then numbered out of 10,000 well they had a bunch of these left over and not really known as far as I know how many of them there are so as you can see when I turn them over they have no numbering no commenting on the back they're just proofs so if there was damage to any of them they had have more of the hologram to put on the cards so that's my next one Next up is this Mike Camilleri, number 14 of 100, playbook, signature. Don't like to open it too often, but we will for this. This was a purchase from the card collector, 255. And two more cards coming in at the next spot. These were eBay purchases myself. Um, two man on Rayom on card. Uh, obviously on card in person is what I meant to say. Autographs. And next up is another eBay purchase. This Team Canada World Juniors Shannon Zabados Patch Auto, 84 of 199. Uh, great goaltender. Very much, as you know, love the fact that the women are getting more exposure in the hockey card game. So that's pretty awesome. And on to another eBay purchase. 2010-2011 uh, In The Game Ultimate Memorabilia Ultimate Auto Stick Jersey. Uh, number 14 of 19, Vincent LeCavalier. So you got a piece of the stick, jersey, and the autograph. And here we are with the next one, also in eBay purchase. So this one is 2009 Spring Expo in the game Ultimate 8 Redemption card. Um, Vincent LeCavalier, 9 of 9. Jersey, emblem, fight strap, and number. And another eBay purchase is in the game Ultimate Memorabilia 14th Edition, Fall Expo, Ultimate Archives, Draft Day Gold, Troche, Williams, and Gillies. Jersey cards. One of one. From an expo. Next up, another poll from before I started making videos is this Jakob Peltier Golden Futures Auto. So I pulled this not long before I started, uh, decided that I wanted to make some videos. So I was watching Top Corner Breaks, open packs of this World uh, Juniors product, and I decided to go and get five or six packs, and I hit this guy in there. So he's a Flames prospect. Next on the list is this Sam Bennett 
uh, Ultimate Memorabilia 2014-2015, 11 of 15 jersey signature card. Now, I really was hoping that Bennett would pan out better for us with his goal-scoring skills and ability, but, I mean, I, I like what he brings to table with the grit and the determination, so maybe there's still hope for him to be a star player in the NHL. And next on the list is a local purchase. Um, this Mika Kiprasov rookie card uh, does not have the uh, protective film on it but it is a nine and i will bring that up there so maybe you can see the grading i do have a non-graded kipper soft rookie with the protective film still on it so and number two from a local trade uh part of my jack hughes young guns trade is this sean monahan rookie gear 33 of 75 autograph so you got a lot of different colors you got black yellow red and this patch here just really nice looking card so that was number two and number one is a card i've had since i originally started collecting way back in the old days before i sold everything in 2009 uh, menon rayom autograph 574 of 1992 uh promo because this is the standing up card so this one was a little harder to come by and yes so i kept this when i sold all my cards because i wanted to pass it along to my daughter who is nine right now yeah nine ten sorry geez don't even know how old she is she is 10 right now <laughs> and when she's old enough she will get uh all my man own realm collection so that was number one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to check out the 50 subscriber contest. Uh, if you want to see cards of my hockey card, pictures of my hockey cards and Pokemon cards that are my daughters, check out the uh, Instagram, Gaming Cards More. I'm on Twitter. Twitter, I do a lot of wrestling tweets and retweets and stuff like that. And like I mentioned at the start of the video, um, if you don't like the gaming stuff that I'm going to be doing on the channel, that's, that's totally fine. It's not for everybody. I totally get that. That is not going to change the schedule of my hockey card break. So I was always doing new videos for hockey cards every three to five days or Pokemon or whatever break I had going on or a top list. So that will always continue to happen. Just some filler in between um, those breaks is going to be some gaming content and such. But please like, subscribe, share, comment. Let me know what you thought of the list. If there was any different particular order. Um, if you want to make some trades, again, I'm on Instagram. You can take a look at the cards there. We can make some and arrange some trades. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And we'll see what 2020 brings for a difference to my stack of top 25 cards.